Freak Airplane Incidents and Accidents Number 1 Brocklesby Madeir Collision On September 29, 1940, two Royal Australian Air Force Avro Anson planes on a preparation practice crashed in Madeira above Brocklesby, New South Wales, Australia. The pilot and surveillance official in the lower plane quickly rescued, alongside the observation official of the upper plane. This left just leading aircraftman Leonard Fuller, the pilot of the upper plane, on board. The two planes didn't enter a lofty plunge and crashed true to form. All things being equal, they stayed airborne and bolted together, with one over the other. The motors of the upper plane constrained by Fuller had quit working, yet the plane was kept airborne by the motors of the lower plane. Fuller before long found that he could handle the lower motors by basically controlling his plane. So he flew the two planes 8 kilometers, 5 miles, prior to arriving in Brocklesby. The lower plane was discounted after the arrival, however the upper plane was fixed and gotten back to support. Number 2 British Airways Flight 5390 On June 10, 1990, British Airways Flight 5390 was flying from Birmingham, England, to Malaga, Spain, when a cockpit windshield extinguished at a height of in excess of 5,200 meters, 17,000 feet. The unexpected loss of pressing factor drained Captain Timothy Lancaster out of his safety belt. He was saved from being smothered of the plane by the snappy activity of airline steward Nigel Ogden, who clutched him by the midsection. Simultaneously, Lancaster's legs hit the controls and detached the autopilot, sending the plane into a plunge. The main official recuperated the plane from the plunge, however the greater part of Lancaster's body remained spread over the highest point of the plane. The adjustment in pressing factor had additionally begun hauling Ogden out of the plane, and he was then saved by another airline steward who clutched his belt. At this point, Lancaster's face was angrily slamming into the side of the cockpit windshield and the group thought he was dead. Somebody even recommended that they discharge him. However, they chose to clutch him over feelings of dread that he may be sucked into the motor and cause more harm. The plane made a crisis arrival at Southampton, England, where Lancaster was discovered to be alive. He was treated for brakes and frostbite. There were no other significant setbacks. If you like what you see please like share and subscribe to the channel. Number 3 Israeli Air Force F-15 and A-4 Midair Collision In 1983, the Israeli Air Force was executing mock aeronautical battle drills over the skies of the Negev Desert when a F-15 Eagle crashed in Madeir with a 4 Skyhawk. The crash was trailed by a blast and launch by the Skyhawk pilot. In the interim, the F-15 went into a twisting and made a beeline for the ground. Learner pilot Zivi Nedevi had disregarded requests to launch and endeavored to recover control at the same time unmindful of the way that his fly had lost its traditional. Nedevi figured out how to land the fly at a close-by airbase and possibly understood the degree of the harm when he pivoted to shake his teacher's hand. The episode was mind-boggling to the point that even McDonald Douglas, the creators of the F-15, at first guaranteed that it was difficult to fly the airplane with just one wing. The F-15 was given another wing and got back to support two months after the fact. Number 4 Aerolinea Tavia Flight 870 On June 27, 1980, Aerolinea Tavia Flight 870 flying from Bologna to Palermo bafflingly smashed in the ocean around Ustica Island, executing every one of the 77 travelers and four group individuals. Until this point, the reason for the accident, which Italians call the Ustica Massacre, stays a secret. Mechanical issues and illegal intimidation were at first fingered as potential causes until a 1989 examining commission reasoned that the plane was shot somewhere around a rocket. At that point, Italian President Francesco Cossigo guaranteed that the plane had been shot somewhere near a French rocket despite the fact that proof focuses to an Italian rocket. It is guessed that the airplane got trapped in the crossfire of elevated battle among NATO and Libyan planes. 
This hypothesis acquired belief after the destruction of a Libyan MiG-23 was found in Calabria half a month after the accident. The Italian government has been blamed for concealing the accident, and five Italian Air Force authorities connected to the occasion have passed on under dubious conditions. In 2011, a Palermo Common Court decided that Aerolinea Atavia Flight 870 had been struck by a rocket and requested the Italian government to pay 100 million euros in pay for neglecting to ensure the Italian skies, disguising reality, and pulverizing proof. Number 5 British Airways Flight 009 On June 24, 1982, British Airways Flight 009 was flying from Kuala Lumpur to Perth when it lost every one of the four motors as it traveled over Java, Indonesia. Prior to the deficiency of force, Captain Eric Moody had seen smoke ascending from the plane floor, trailed by a disturbing smell and a weird sparkle called St. Elmo's Fire. St. Elmo's Fire is brought about by the presence of friction based electricity on the plane windshield. Simultaneously, the lodge team saw that the front of the plane's motors shined like they were consuming inside. The plane turned over losing its motors in a steady progression until the airplane was transformed into a kind-sized lightweight flyer with 247 travelers. Tachi took advantage of this lucky break to tell the travelers that every one of the four motors had quit working however he believed them to keep their cool while he and his first official put forth a valiant effort to restart the motors. The pilots had the option to restart the motors 15 minutes after the fact and immediately made a diversion to Jakarta. Examinations uncovered that the motors were harmed and obstructed with volcanic debris delivered during the emission of Mount Galunggung. The pilots were simply ready to restart the motors on the grounds that the debris had hardened and severed.